So, do you play on console and play on 80 FOV and just feel that PC and 120 FOV is just such a big advantage? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to master 80 FOV with three easy tips that will take you to the next level. So, one of the biggest things with 120 FOV is that you can see more on your sides, right? So, if I'm standing here, again, I'm playing on console with 120 FOV, I'd be able to see here and here. And obviously, if I got 80, I can't, I can't see that, right? So, this is one of the tips I got for you guys. One of the most important things you can do is you basically have to corner check everything. What does corner checking mean? That means if I would run here with 120 FOV, I could see that. But if you're not on 120 FOV, you got to do quick checks. So, basically, look right look left sorry look left look right and then look left again and look right so every time you are going around a corner you got a corner check it that that's really the only way that you're going to be able to do this because again with 120 fov you could just run in here and you'd be able to see everything but again with it's, it's something tedious right it's something that sucks but that is something that you just have to know and that you're gonna have to be able to do and basically also like when you're in the stairs at 120 FOV, you can run up like this, and you can see this, you can see that, and it, it just goes through the same way, right? We go up, we gotta check one way first, and then you check the other one. So just always remember, corner checking is one of the most important things you gotta do when you're playing on 120 FOV. And, and that not only goes like when you're corner checking like in close, tight scenarios, that goes to everything from even like running across the street. Usually if you're aware to run across the street, right, 120 FOV will allow you to see all the way over there. But if you don't have 120 FOV, always corner check. So always be looking left and right and one of the things i like doing is when you're slide canceling right so you, so you don't lose that momentum you can corner check left and right while you're slide canceling and this will allow you to keep a good momentum again you gotta have good eyes because i am like flicking like really fast to the right but you can do it a little bit slow sometimes you know you could go like this corner check to the left corner check there corner check here but yeah just remember using your slide to keep that momentum up always corner check right? that's very very important now talking about corner checking one of the things where adfov actually does have the advantage is when you're fighting people in front of you right and that's something that you're doing most of the times so and why do i say when you're fighting people in front of you you have the uh upper hand well because to have 120 FOV, we're all playing on the same monitor, right? I mean, we're all playing on the same sort of screen. So it's not that they have a bigger screen and that's why they can see more. What 120 FOV does is that to increase your corner, so, so you can see more on your left and right side, the center of your screen goes further away from you. And that does affect, like, I mean, here at 80 FOV, if a person pops up right here, he is going to be closer to me. Like, I'm going to be able to distinguish him a lot more easier if I'm using 80 FOV rather than using 120 FOV. So that's just something that you want to keep in mind. That's why you want to check your corners, right, which is your dead spot. But when you got people in front of you, you've got the upper hand. You can see that enemy a lot more clearly than you could if you would have 120 FOV. So that's why I always kind of like try. I mean, I know you're not going to be shooting at people to your left and right, but that's why I always try to have those fights like in the open field uh, that's just very very important because again when you're in the open field medium range long range anything like that somebody with adfov will definitely have the advantage and now let's go into something very important i see a lot of people you know putting in the videos that one sensitivity is meta four sensitivity is meta this this that but what's something that a lot of people don't realize, and it's mostly console players, is that these guys are actually playing on 120 FOV. And I did realize because I had a lot of comments on that, people saying, yeah, but at 120 FOV, you can definitely play it. And that is true. When you watch a video and somebody says lower sensitivity is meta, this, 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 you gotta pay attention. Are they playing on PC? More likely, they are playing on PC. And when you're playing on PC and you got 120 FOV, you can definitely play on a little bit lower sets, right? Because you got more to see on your left and right. So if you spot somebody, and you know, even if you're slow, since you spot them first, you'll be able to turn around. But if you're playing on a low sensitivity and somebody starts shooting you, let's say from there, and I got a low sensitivity, me turning all the way around there and then trying to spot him and take a shot is gonna be a lot harder. So just remember that if you're playing on a console, 
really you do want to bump that sensitivity up i say maybe anything above like six would be good play maybe like six seven eight i play on nine nine again i gradually increase but if you're playing on any fov and you do that four four sensitivity five five it's just really going to be it's just going to be really hard for you to be honest again because you're not going to be able to spot him first and then he starts shooting at you and you slow ass turtle to want to turn around and then want to spot him and then shoot him it's just going to be really really hard so if you're playing on console try to keep anything about a six sensitivity go to six seven eight nine anything like that and then i got a bonus tip for you guys i already gave out my top three tips and tricks to master the adfob but i got a little bonus one for you and it's been helping me out a lot so when you got friends that play on pc right and they're playing out 120 fov and they die right and they're spectating you always tell them to give you comms because what they're seeing is they're actually seeing the 120 fov and in my screen or you know in your screen you're seeing the adfob and it's happened a lot of the times when my teammates are dead and they're spectating me and they tell me oh yo dude there's a dude to their left there's a dude to your right and like i go back on my stream and like he wasn't even on my screen right so that's why it's very important that if you have teammates that are dead always tell them to give you comms because you basically got best of both worlds you got the adfov so you can take advantage of the medium to long range anybody in front of you but then you got your teammates giving you comms with that 120 fov visual so that's just something very important and always tell your teammates to give you comms but again, ladies and gentlemen, because Warzone is a game where you have to be very aggressive and you're usually pushing in buildings, that's why 120 FOV is definitely worth it, right? You can definitely see more. But just do be aware, you know, when you're going into those close quarter combat, always check your corners, always look left and right. But when you got somebody dead on, remember, you have the advantage. And ladies and gentlemen, that was it for today. Peace out, and I'll see you all in the next one.